Hi everybody, it's Dr. Miller and this is our supplemental video about Google Sheets um, as we talk about Google Drive and Google Docs. Um, as people who work in um, the editing and writing business, uh, obviously your work in a word processing software um, is going to be more important than your ability to do work in, um, you know, the equivalent of Excel or other spreadsheet software. Nevertheless, as you've learned from Excel, there's a lot that you can do in a spreadsheet format. And if you are in a workplace or on a project where you are working with Google Drive, uh, it'll be good to have at least a little bit of experience with that um, software. So, um, you know, for one, uh, so Sheets is basically Google Suite's version of Excel. Um, it has a lot of the same functionality. I'm going to click on a... Um, spreadsheet that I made. It even has the little green icon like Excel does, just so you don't get confused. Blue is apparently for word processing, as with Google Docs, and uh, green is for spreadsheets, probably because spreadsheets are usually used for budgets and money. Um, so you'll notice that as with um, as with Excel, you have the different columns, you have the ability to label different sheets, you can duplicate if you're doing, let's say you're doing the same uh, form for first, second, third quarterly reports, you can just duplicate that until you have four of them and then name one first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter and let's say Dream Lab 2021 is the name of your project. It's not, it's a project I worked on uh, for a workshop this summer. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you know, you can see where these kinds of naming conventions are similar across platforms. I will say though that because, and if you look, I'll just type something here, hello. Um, you know, you'll see saving there, save to drive, and you'll be able to see the comment history. You'll be able to present to a meeting. You'll be able to share with different email addresses, etc. So real-time collaboration is much easier in Sheets and Google Docs versus MS Word and Excel. Those are a little bit locked into their own little world and their own software. Um, the web version, at, uh, MS Office 365, is better for this. However, original MS Word and Excel, real-time collaboration is more difficult there than in uh, Google Sheets and Google Docs. Um, some of the other benefits to Google Sheets, if you look over here, I'm kind of scrolling over here, um, you can sync it with Google Calendar. So, for example, if you do have those quarterly reports, you can set reminders that have this file in a link where you say, okay, revise Dream Lab 2021 quarter two um, on this particular day. Um, so that when you're sitting at work, nothing comes as a surprise, balls don't get dropped, etc. So we like that. Um, you know, you also have different tasks you can assign form publishers, and sharing it with other people to help you collaborate. I mean, you can even set a reminder in your calendar to share this particular file with your boss a week after your editing deadline or whatever it is. Um, so yes, you can add multiple sheets. It's just like Excel. Um, Google Drive has calendar capability. It also has video conferencing. When you go into a uh, calendar, there's always an option to add Google Meets to it, which I've used for office hours as well. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice transferable platform. I'm not going to ask you to do a whole bunch of things 
in sheets that you don't have to do in Excel uh, simply because we're in a summer class and um, you don't need that additional practice too much. Um, but I do want you to feel like if you start a job somewhere or you start a project and they're working in sheets and you've had this exposure with Excel, it should be fairly straightforward to make that transition. Um, so hopefully that will be um, empowering to you. Thank you for listening to this little uh, mini lecture on ways we can use Sheets to uh, further the capability of Google Drive.